Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to study some simple word problems where we can use equations. Now, each one of these problems you can solve without equations, but we want to practice writing equations. That's really the main point of this lesson, not so much to solve the problems. This first problem involves a parallelogram and P means perimeter. Its perimeter is 84 units, such as 84 inches or 84 centimeters. This side measures 3 units. This side is given as S, a variable there. And that's what we need to find, how much is S. Now in a parallelogram, the opposite sides are congruent, so this side is S and this side is 3. And of course perimeter, you add all those sides together and you get 84, so that's our equation. We add 3 plus s plus 3 plus s equals 84. So if you get this far, if you get this equation written, then that's very good. Now, 3 plus 3 equals 6. And then s plus s we can simplify. It is 2s. So we get 2s here plus 6 equals 84. And now we use our equation solving skills. How do you solve this kind of equation? Okay, there's this, we want to isolate a variable on one side, on this side. So we need to do something to this plus 6. We will subtract 6 from both sides. I'll make my marginal note once again. Subtract 6 from both sides. So that leaves 2s alone. And over here, 78, right? And now, divide both sides by 2, right? So we get s equals 39. 39 units. And that makes the parallelogram much longer this way than what I drew, of course. Now let's go on. In this one, A means area. The area of this whole long rectangle is 60 square units. This side measures 5, this side here is x units and then 4 units. We need to find x. And we can write an equation and solve it. You can also do it without equation solving. If you want to solve this without using an equation, let me do that real quick. You can find out that the area of this part here is 4 times 5, is 20 square units. So therefore this one alone must be 40 square units, right? You subtract, we get 40 here. And then 40 is 5 times the unknown side, so 5 times 8 fits the bill, okay? Wasn't even very difficult, didn't take that much time, but we want to write an equation and solve that too. And so for the equation, you of course, you know the area, area is 60. So write here an expression for the area equals 60. The area is 5 times this whole side. 5 times this whole side is x plus 4. And so that is 60. And now there's two ways to go about solving the equation. You could either divide both sides by 5. There's the 5 there, that would disappear. Or you can use the distributive property to write this as 5x plus 20 equals 60, I'm sorry. Let's do that because it corresponds to the solution I already explained to you with that equation. So we get 5x plus 20 equals 60. And now when we solve this equation we get rid of the 20, right? We subtract 20 from both sides. And so we get 5x equals 40. This is exactly what I did when I was explaining it here. I was noting that this is 20, the area of this rectangle is 20, and so I subtracted that from 60 to get that this would be 40. That's exactly what's happening here too. And now lastly, 5x equals 40, so we divide by 5 to get x equals 8. Now here, Ben is 5 times as old as Jane, and he's 40 years older than, Jen, than her. How old is Ben and how old is Jen? I'm going to first of all draw a bar diagram for this problem. Ben is five times as old as Jen. So let's say Ben, Ben's age is going to be like a bar and Jen's age is going to be a bar too. But I'm going to make Jen's age to be the, like a short bar here. And then Ben's five times that long, right? Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five, as if five blocks. And he is 40 years older than her. 
In other words, the difference of the ages is 40 years. The difference is also here. This is the difference in the ages. These four blocks is the difference. Okay? This here is 40. Now, of course, we can easily solve it. That one block here must equal 10 years. And so Jen is 10 and Ben is 50. Now let's write an equation, though, also. Now that we have solved it, let's write an equation. Um, this block here is our unknown. It's very handy to use this one block as an unknown. So Jen's age is x, and Ben's age is 5x. And since we know the difference in the ages, we know how much older he is than her. The difference is, of course, the subtraction. Okay? So when I take 5x minus x, the difference, 5x minus x, then that we know from the problem it is 40. And 5x minus x is, of course, 4x, or 4 blocks. So we get 4x, or 4 blocks, equals 40, and then x equals 10. Now, this is the solution to the equation, but it's not the answer to the, this question here. You need to then go back to the word problem and check what was it asking. It asks how old is Ben. Well, Ben is 50, and Jen is 10 years. The equation just helps us to solve, find the, find the answer to the questions. Here we have a rectangle with aspect ratio 2 to 1 and perimeter 102 centimeters. Now what was the aspect ratio? It is the ratio of a rectangle's width to its height or width to length, whichever way you want to call it. So we can mark that in the picture using a unit of some sort. This is 2 to 1. So I will mark it as 2 units here and 1 unit here, okay? And now, if I want to write an equation, of course my unit here would be my x. That's handy to use. This is basically x here, x here, and x here. Right? So the one side is 2x, and the other side is x. This side is 2x, and this side is x. And so from there I get my equation. All the way around is 102 centimeters, but all the way around is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's, right? So all the way around is 6x equals 102 centimeters. And then from there, x would equal 102 divided by 6, which is 17 centimeters.